Hello everyone, it's Wolfie Gannon Who here. Welcome to episode 17 of Let's Play Sly 2 Bands of Thieves. In the last episode, we did something. Oh yeah, in the last episode, Bentley went through a bunch of tower and Sly did some stuff, but now we're doing the final job for episode 5. So I'll be silent for now. General guy told the truth, or this is gonna get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces! The castle defense is down. Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle. Charge for victory! Glory. That should do it. Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I don't want to drown. Okay, so this is where the paraglider is required, pretty much. <laughs> so, I don't mind. I love the paraglider. So, let's club here and. Ah, great. The best way to take it out is, of course, to use your fortress attack. It makes things a lot easier. All right, let's head for the re-education tower. What? The mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative! That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carbolina's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. Okay, so let's get ready for some more hacking. Yay! So, yeah, now we got a free Carbolina. And yeah, we just gotta get with more red barriers while getting. While protecting ourselves from these red owls. We done this before. We know what, what to do now. Uh, these big guys take more than one hit. We can try luring away from the barriers to make this to make it a lot easier. Okay. Nearly there. Halfway there at least. Oh. I keep getting surrounded. Jeez. There we go. Okay. Da, 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 da. Only one more line to go. Three, two, one. Grab it. There you go. We free Carmelita Fox. Yippee. Brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. My dear, you really should. <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! That Carmelita, always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? 
Ta ta. Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But the plan, it, this wasn't in the plan. Up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turret and stay sharp. <laughs> of course, Nigga, the bitch will get in the way. Yeah, for the second half of the game, she's gonna constantly get in the way and be an absolute annoyance. So we gotta follow her again. I thought this will stop, but yeah. Be stolen the other clockwork guy. We're not having any that shit, so. Better come back here, you fucking bitch. I'm sorry for the swearing, but... Uh, you know, I started to feel like I'm just casually swearing more and more. I don't know. Yeah. And she will lay down spider webs, which... Something I don't realize when I first tried this, so... And she has her own power glide too, because apparently she's just a copy of Sly Cooper. Copycat. I think I mean that literally. Oh, well. I mean, come on, why can't I just swipe the clockwork eye away from her? I can't clearly get why. I grab him wedge from her, so why don't I just grab the clockwork eye? Ugh. Oh, thanks, you bitch. You really should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turret and stay sharp. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Yay, another turret section. And we, we get to get rid of all the planes this time. So speed up because no one wants to watch turret sections. It's, it's bloody boring. Just make sure your aiming's real good and make sure you don't get hit at all. <laughs> That's all I can say. belongs to me and I want it back no way you think I'm crazy actually on second thought don't answer that I really don't want your professional opinion not crazy just stupid you're an ignorant child playing dress up in his father's legacy oh I know all about you and the Cooper clan then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed short-sighted fool I have no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. Okay, so here's the third boss fight with the Contessa herself. And honestly, I think this boss fight is a lot better than... Dimitri and with John's boss battles because she has an actual pattern so constantly try to attack you and you basically hit her at the back way avoid her spy spider children <laughs> Ugh. so yeah actually you like this boss fight quite a lot much better than the first two ah oh, poor Bentley
Oh, fuck off, you bitch. Wait, that's not Layla, that's Carmelita? Hmm, we'll see what's going on after I beat the crap out of Katessa, but for now... Yeah, this boss is a lot better than the first two we've done so far, in my personal opinion. Yeah, I say it's better than the first boss in Sly 1. And the second boss in Sly 1. And the third, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's... You know what, this is actually my favorite boss battle I've played so far in the Sly Cooper franchise. Which is kind of sad, but... Yeah. I actually really like this boss fight. It's just nearly dead, angry love. But oh, this is just our first phase of two. There you go. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof. I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks! Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. Shoot at her tank to incapacitate it. Be hard and we'll get the eye. God, go away. I gotta control this fucking tank again. <sighs> so, yeah. Bad issue will get used to the controls again. I'll grab the eye while Carmelita's still stuck in her tank. Then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. Do what you can, Sly. We'll all hook up at the rendezvous for extraction. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. Okay, time for six say the boss battle. And that tank part go by quickly, but that took me quite a couple of tries just to get in the hand controls again and take Carmelia down. Again, I'll say and I'll say again. The tank and that tank controls like other shit. <laughs> and you don't know how to probably control that tank. Well, then you might as well restart again, cause currently it does go pretty fast, and she know how she knows how to control a tank. Anyways, ranting over. Now for a second phase against the consolida. It's practically the same boss fight, but now she's got her hypno hypno vision. I say. As you call it, you'll be hypnotized like this, and yeah, effing. Yeah, the whole it's state whole screen be completely covered by a spiral, when you wouldn't know how to go until you either fall off the roof or well, you the effect effects just stop. This is great commentary, right, guys? Just messing up my words all up. Oh, here we go again. And you can't control this while you're hypnotized. You've got, you got to wait until it wears off. And yeah, don't be using the forge attack. Don't know if it's stronger, but I'm using it anyway just because. And there we go. She's down. You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan, but the Contessa was beaten and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Mila, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. 
To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control, and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. Oh boy. Okay, so that's episode 5 done, and that's the Contessa arc done, I'd like to say. Oh yeah, episode 6 now available. We'll do that next episode, this Let's Play, not this game, but... Yeah, it's this one. Since you still got time left, might as well go, go out in episode 5 and get all the clue balls that I, that I missed. So, there's one on top of this house. That's number two. Okay, the next one is actually on here. I'm not sure that's the only way you can get it, but that's how I got it. Okay, next one is next to Naylor's HQ. There we go, number four. For number five, it's somewhere around here. Once again, near Naylor's base head. Okay, and you know where this clue ball is. It's why. Right under foodies four ways, I don't know. I forgot what they're called. Oh yeah, it's over there, we've seen that clue bulb four. But number seven is on top of this roof. Number seven. Number eight, it's down here. Where the boats are and all that stuff. Okay, number nine is in is here at this graveyard. Okay, for number 10, uh, it's somewhere up here, yeah, oh yeah, I see. It's still on this railing. There you go, ready for the way there. For number 11, it's time to climb up here, there's one on top of this cage. And there's another clue ball down here. So there you go, that's 12. For 13, um, it's up here. You can clearly see it. So, down 14 is over there near these TNT bells. Next one, it's not up there, but somewhere along here. But yeah, it's here. You can clearly see it. Halfway there. Okay, for number 16, it's on the top of this. Roof near this entrance of this castle, I'm soon. And there's another one right over here. Okay, for number 18, it's near this door and down here. Also, next nice we get with where the statues. You don't know that any wolves could be high in there. Pretty clever. But now let's, let's Let's climb up this structure, as there are more clue balls up here. There's number 19, and for number 20, it should be somewhere up here as well. Indeed it is. Make sure you don't make you fall off. Uh, okay, for number 21, it's down here. I don't want that cutie. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, and for number 22, it's somewhere down here. Yeah. Uh, okay, for number 23, it's next to the spotlight. There we go. Okay, for number 24, it's around this tower here, so... Okay, for number 25, yeah, it's up on the top of that hook. Okay, for number 26, it's along across these bridges here, wooden planks, whatever. Number 27, it's at the top of this tower here. For number 28, it's on it's on the top of this re-education tower here. Number 29, it's on this well here that connects the re-education tower to this age quarters. So here we go, that's how I got, but there's plenty of ways to get to. And for the last one, it's inside this hallway here. There you go, that's all the clue balls in episode 5. Now it's time to head back to the vault, which is right here, you've forgotten. 
Ah, now first I'll let you take care of the enemies. Cut, they got there. And what the code is this time, Bentley? Nine hundred and sixty-nine. Of course, you gotta have the dirty number in there. Yeah, better be something good. What is it? Uh, bombs? The wage bomb. Cool, but it makes me think of the bomb wash from Splatoon. I don't think I'll be using that much. Anyways, next time on Side Two Bands of Thieves, which I'll be starting episode six, and we need a certain ball again. So it's Morgan Who, and I'll see you next time. Lay people.